hold on. If I'm cursing a lot in this video, I apologize. Um, I curse a lot and I'm not, you know, fucking Jojo Siwa, okay? I'm not finna. I'm 26, so I'm not finna talk like I'm fucking 13 on here at all. So if I'm cursing a lot, then that's, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, what it is what it is this is not even the type of subject that i am that really comfortable talking about so my apologies for my language if it's a little excessive but you know it is what it is what's up taylor gang and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am going to be doing a updated adoption story type thing um sorry hold on my head itch already so i'm going to be doing a updated adoption story um if you haven't watched my very first one i did one last year in the summertime i basically was just answering you guys' questions um one day i just got on my instagram and ended up posting you know about how i was adopted um how i was supposed to be aborted etc and um you know just just stuff about how i feel like that lets me know that i have a purpose and god has a plan for me and it's something i'm supposed to be damn doing so when i did that a lot of people were you know what's the word i'm looking for a lot of people were surprised surprised to hear that i was adopted and a lot of you guys had a lot of questions honestly looking back at the situation majority of your questions really wasn't necessarily about me and being adopted it was it turned into people asking about my fucking father and like you know growing up with him i, I felt like that was kind of weird um so this time i'm not i didn't tell you guys when i say you guys i mean my instagram followers because i know a lot of people that follow me on instagram literally only follow me because they want i don't know i don't know but it's people that follow me on instagram that's not really necessarily in, interested in what i personally have going on they're more interested in you know my family or whatever that's their business for you guys that actually like me you know and want to know what i have going on this video is for y'all my subscribers um i didn't announce that i was going to do this video because I'm, I don't have no questions to answer. I don't, nah. Um, this is like a, a really interesting update. Um, as you can tell by the title, I did end up meeting my birth family. And yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna be talking about. A little disclaimer, this topic gives me anxiety. Um, I'm not nervous about it. It's not a it's not even a negative situation at all, but I cannot help, you know, my my body and how I react to certain topics. And um I'm just giving this disclaimer so you guys know in the beginning like I'm not nervous about this situation. I'm not scared, but my voice is going to crack, it's going to shake. I'm probably going to be looking around and say um a lot. It's just this situation gives me anxiety talking about it and it literally makes me nervous as fuck i have no clue why i noticed in the first video i did about my adoption that my voice was very shaky and i wasn't nervous in the moment when i was recording it but it did come off as if i was nervous it's just anxiety i don't know why i mean it just it is what it is what the fuck <laughs> so that's that i'm just gonna go ahead and get started with this story i have a lot a lot a lot a lot to catch you guys up on i meant to record this video months ago um to give you guys an update on what happened months ago and then excuse me i'm sorry and then this ended up happening to where i actually ended up find meeting them not finding them meeting them so yeah so let's just fucking go um if you guys haven't seen the adoption q a or whatever please watch it um you can watch it after this video if you want or you can watch it you can go watch it and then come back to this one i'll put it in the description box and i'll put it in the cards up above so basically you guys i mean like 
I don't know where the fuck I left off um, in, in the store. I don't know how much information I told you guys about, you know, the adoption process and stuff. But basically, in order to get information on your birth family in the state of Georgia, I had to wait until I was 21 to get that info. I'm 26 and, you know, I got the information and I just didn't really too much care about it. Can you move? What are you doing? Stop. I didn't really... I wasn't like in a rush to look for them, find them. I just kind of wanted something to show them when I did meet them. I didn't want to just meet them, you know, and not have anything to show for it. I wanted them to be able to see that they made a good decision in giving me up for adoption. So that's why I never really pursued, you know, looking them up or nothing like that for the past five years. Um, that information kind of just stayed with my mother. And that was that, I didn't too much care. My dad died and I really didn't care at that point. Cause, look, you know, like I didn't care. I didn't care about anything. So I wasn't in a rush again to do it. I'm getting older and I wanted to know where I came from. I felt like I couldn't, I couldn't like, have kids i couldn't i didn't feel as if i could start a family without knowing who i really am you know what kind of traits am i going to pass on to my children and stuff like that hereditary type things not you know personality tra i mean even personality traits but still hereditary stuff I, I i wanted to be able to know where i came from before i could bring life into this world it sounds like i'm talking like i'm pregnant i'm not fucking pregnant i don't even okay but still i am getting older and i do want i did want to have a relationship with them if i could um before i started having kids so you know i, I didn't know nothing about them i didn't know if they were alive after my dad died it was kind of like these niggas might be fucking dead you know like that was just the reality of the situation that's what i had to tell myself you know, like, just in case, like, you know, they could be dead, bitch. So, one day, a couple months ago, maybe about six months ago, I ended up getting the papers, information from my mother, and I came home, and um, in the packet, that's where it has kind of just, like, what the plan was, where it said, you know, I they originally were going to abort me and stuff like that. Um, just for, I guess, financial issues, it said that they... Um, didn't have the means or something like that to take care of the child, the child being me. So um, on, the, on the information paper, it has their names and uh, relatives and stuff. So under relatives, I saw that I had a relative that was born in 1992. It was listed under my maternal side information. So 1992, I was born in 1993. I'm like, this must be, you know, my uncle or something you know like this must be my mom must have had a little brother that was born a year before me this is what i'm thinking when i'm reading the paper um because i was originally under the impression that my parents were about 16 17 when they had me um i don't know who told me that you know i just kind of assumed it uh because that that just is more normal i think to me for a teenager to give their child up for adoption because they can't afford it or whatever. So that's what I was thinking. Um, they actually were about 22, still very young. You know, it's not nothing I'm upset about. I was 22 a couple years ago and I damn sure could have afforded a child. So I totally understand. Um, so I decided to look up the person born in 92 first on Facebook. Um, that night because I felt like they're so close to my age they would most likely have a Facebook before my aunts and uncles would and the paper I mean it was kind of filled out but it, it really wasn't a lot to work with so I just basically had birthdays and names and that's just what I was working with so I looked up um the name of the person on the paper that I thought was my uncle um and upon further investigation you know on the paper when i'm really looking at the paper 
turns out that the, this person was not my uncle. This person was my older brother. So, you know, for me, that shit was weird because it's like, okay, hold up. Because, you know, I'm giving up for adoption. And in my mind, of course, you're going to think you were your parents' first child. They could not take care of you at that point. So they gave you away from, a, gave you up for adoption. Um, so to find out that I was not the oldest and they had already had a kid before me, it, it didn't bother me in a sense of like, damn, y'all kept this nigga, y'all ain't keep me. It wasn't like that. It was just like, damn, I really thought that I was gonna be somebody's older sibling. You know, like me and my family, I'm the youngest, I'm the only girl. So I, I had been so excited to find my family because I just thought that I was gonna have a younger sibling. It, it, it literally, it literally was like, I don't want to say a dream to me, but it was something I was very, very, very excited for. Something I had mentioned on numerous occasions that I just couldn't wait to meet. You know, I really want like a little sister for some reason. Majority of my friends have younger sisters and it's just like, uh, you know, like, damn it. I feel like I could be such a good big sister. I want, you know, I wanted that, but unfortunately, I ain't got it. So finding out I had an older brother was a little weird, um, but only in the sense that I wanted to be somebody's older sibling. And once again, I'm fucking not, of course. So I ended up looking him up and I actually found him um, that night, same night. And when I say I found him, I found, I Googled, I went on Facebook, I'm sorry y'all. Went on Facebook, typed in his name, um, and the person who came up first, um, you know, the birthday information matched and I could just look at him and his photos. He didn't have that many pictures, but I could just look at him. And it was just something inside of me that just was like, it, if I could feel it, you know, I could feel it. It didn't, I, I didn't look for anybody else after I found his page. And it was just cause like, I knew I could feel it. And I ended up going through more of his pictures. He posted um, our mother on her birthday, the birthday matched. Um, I went through his family on Facebook. He had aunts and uncles, the names matched. So I knew, you know, I knew. And I, I, I added him on there and that's it. That's all I did that night. I, I didn't know what else to do at that point but i did the next day this was like the end of may by the way y'all this was the end of may so the next day um i did tell my mom and my brother that i really think i found the guy because y'all when i say the night i got the papers from my mom is the night i found him on facebook like it was like this like and it and it was crazy to me because I didn't have to keep looking, you know, like I could just feel it in my spirit. And I didn't know what, what to do at that point. I was nervous, I was very excited. I didn't wanna waste any more time. So, you know, I tried to wait it out, but I ended up actually messaging him maybe like the next day. And I messaged him and, you know, I just was kinda like, Hey, um, I did add him the night I found him. He added me back or whatever. So I was, that's how I was able to see his family members and stuff like that. <sighs> Sorry. I don't know why the fuck. Like sounding nervous when I'm not fucking nervous makes me feel like a fucking punk. But anyway, um, the next day I did, I messaged him and I just was basically like, hey, um, you know, I, I kind of think that we may be related. This might be weird as hell, but if you don't mind telling me your parents' names, like I really think we might be related. And he ended up asking me what my parents' names were. Um, I might or might not include the screenshot of this part. I have so many clips of stuff that I need to add into this video as I'm talking. So. I, might, I may or may not include the screenshots of the conversation, uh, our original convo. I might not because I don't know. <laughs> but he ended up asking me what my parents' names was and I told him and then I ended up 
oversharing, I feel like, and I ended up telling him his own fucking name and his own birthday, like a creep. And I, I kind of felt like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have did that. But then at the same time, I'm like, I've waited so long for this moment. I'm sorry if this is coming off weird, but this is what the fuck it is. You know, I know you're my brother. I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of asking you for a confirmation on something I already know. You know what I'm saying? So with that, I messaged him and um, I was, I was expecting. You know, I was everybody. I kind of told what was happening. I was expecting. Um, him to be taken aback by it i was expecting him to kind of hesitate in responding i was expecting him to be shocked i was expecting him to originally be like what the fuck but what i wasn't expecting was for this nigga to not respond <laughs> i was not expecting him to never respond for five months this shit might be a two-part fucking video. Honestly, this shit is finna be long.